Hi there, it's Mary with Mary Stampin' Cafe. Thanks so much for joining me today on my Saturday Stampin' or hashtag Satmorn Makes with Jillian Norwood or Two Crafters One Design who is um, Mo Creations, Melissa, and there's a couple other gals who always have a theme every Saturday. And this Saturday, today, it is tags. And I thought, oh, what a better time oh, to share about Stampin' Up's kits. So I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. I've been here in Stampin' Up for over 25 years, probably 27, 28 years now. And one of the things I especially love are their kits. Now there are a couple different. There are Paper Pumpkins, which is a um, subscription. It can be monthly, uh, prepaid, three, six, 12 months. Um, and you get a kit every single month and this one <clears throat> I'll just show you this one in a fun box this one was called ho 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 oh my gosh October 2022 can you believe it I loved this kit so much this paper pumpkin I actually got refills and that's one thing if you're a, subscri a subscriber you can get refills of the paper pumpkin kits as long as they're in stock this particular one here the Ho 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 has the most fabulous stamp set. Every paper pumpkin kit comes with a stamp set, a spot, and all of your supplies to create the projects. And this particular one, if I flip it over, are card projects, which are fabulous. These were so much fun, and I can't wait to play with them again this season. Um, but Two Crafters One Design, hashtag Two Crafters One Design, their theme this week is tags. So I thought, how much fun would it be to create tags with the super cute Santa? I'm just saying. So that is a subscription paper pumpkin. You can do it by month or prepaid subscriptions. Now, kits. Stampin' Up! comes out with two new kits every month, about the fifth of the month. And you can go online to stampinup.com or check out my links below and I'll have a link for the kits because there are two brand new fabulous kits that you will not want to miss. But I want to talk about this super cute kit, Love Santa Tag Kit. This kit is so much fun. Look at the cute kit tags that you get to make. You get to make three each of the four designs. What I love about these kits is all of that artwork is done for you. You always get a nice um, brochure on how to make each of the projects in the kit. And these are not subscription, these stand alone. And I've already obviously played with this kit a lot. This is one of the older kits. And I even um, did a um, card making class with this kit. So it's not just for tags, but look at how sweet this Santa is right here and the beautiful tree. And then there's also this beautiful tag right here. So I thought what a perfect one with the uh, hashtag two crafters one design doing tags. And what's awesome with the kits, you get a block, an acrylic block for your projects. In the kits, you usually will get a stamp set now there are some that are all consumable that means there won't be a stamp set because all of the sayings and stamped images will be done for you and all you have to do is put them together this came with a knight of navy spot a spot is just a smaller version of stampin up's larger stamp pads and this is a, called a spot and so let's go ahead and close this you notice the difference between a paper pumpkin and a kit the kits always come this way in a, in a craft colored box with stripes and dots and they're just so much fun. So they come out again about the fifth of every month. This one is a kit that was from last Christmas and I had gotten several of these kits because like I said I did a card making class with these kits. It's so much fun and I'm actually going to do a card with you today. So you have always have these wonderful die cut pop out pieces for your sentiments and we even have some ones that are different colors and I'm going to go ahead and pop out my Santa here and my tree so just think about how fun your cards could be 
if you decide to make some cards. I hope you take time to check out the hashtags sat more makes and hashtag two crafters one design it's always fun to see what other crafters are doing all right so i'm going to leave this right here let's see i'm going to take out it's interesting i have my love santas here love santa those but it looks like I've used all of those because I don't seem to have those in my kit anywhere. Oh, yes I do, right here. Of course I do, look at that, okay. So I'm gonna have my Santa and my tree and then I need my tag, which I have right here. And you always want to sort that's going to have that and a little square. And then this Santa has the circle. Let's, let me move that up so you can see. So Santa has his circle and then he's going to get the smaller circle because that's a beautiful scalloped circle. And the tree is going to get the rectangle for the Mary. It's also going to get a skinny white one. And it's going to get, if I have it, I do a red scalloped strip. So look how cute. All right. So I also need for this one, I need this frond right here. The artwork is so wonderful with the kits. I feel like I feel guilty when I use the kits because they're just so beautiful and all that work, artwork's been done for you. All right, so now I need my stamp set. And here we are. I think I'm gonna start with the tag here. That's already a tag. And this one gets joy. And notice in the instructions, it looks like you have a black circle, but it's not. It's that Knight of Navy spot that you're gonna stamp your sentiments and it is an, it's a reversible um, where the word stays white and around it gets that coloring. So I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna take out the joy and I'm gonna use my block that I got with the kit and the Knight of Navy spot. And I'll go ahead and take my stamp to the spot. I'm gonna do a little bit of rubbing to make sure I'm getting that fully covered. And then I'm gonna come straight over my green, my, my green, my white rectangle. And I'm gonna stamp down and press and hold. Oh, and look at that. How beautiful is that joy? I almost have it centered too. Looky there. <laughs> oh, that's the fun thing, right? Now I think about this and I wonder, should I use my liquid glue or should I use my tape? And I think this piece is small. So I'm gonna use that liquid glue. And oh my goodness, I have a brand new liquid glue. How wonderful. Now, liquid glue, you do not need a lot of. It is a strong adhesive that moment, uh, that, uh, uh, what is it called? Tombow Mono liquid glue, multi-adhesive glue. There we go, I have my joy. I'm going to have this beautiful green leaf in here, but what I need to do is in my stamp set again, now I'm gonna pull out this frond, this leaf that I have. I'll put that on my block 
And now because it's so big, and I showed you before with the joy, I'm gonna walk this along. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it and pat because this is a cloth spot, it's called. And I'm gonna stamp one time here. Oh, and look at how beautiful and solid Knight of Navy that is. I love Knight of Navy. Knight of Navy is such a beautiful color for doing silhouette stamping and holiday stamping. It's just beautiful. And it looks like they did two on here, so I'm going to do two as well. Just to fill that out. Oh, that's beautiful just like that. Close that spot so you don't get ink all over. And that's the one thing I love. If you're a new crafter, Stampin' Up! kits or Paper Pumpkin subscriptions are wonderful. Because if you're a new stamper and card maker, you don't have any supplies or many supplies. And, and this way you'll get a collection of spots and then you can decide what colors do you really really like and then you could get yourself um, the full-size pads another nice thing about the kits and paper pumpkin is you get all the adhesives that you'll need you'll get the foam dots which are called dimensionals you will also get any type of embellishments. This particular kit came with the baker's twine to do your string. And look at that, just like that, I have a beautiful, beautiful tag. I can write my to and from on the back. And so I'll grab my to and from. And I'll ink that up with the spot and don't get thrown off. I have the leaf still on the on it, but that's okay. Now you probably want to do this before you glue down your sentiment. But it works out just fine. To and from. How fun is that? To and from. And there we go. So let's go ahead and grab our baker's twine here. And it does tell you, I bet, in this kit, it always tells you how long to have your it says 12 inches there, 12 inches there, 12 inches. For each tag, you have 12 inches of your beautiful red and white red and white baker's twine so there's my 12 inches and i'm grab the, gonna grab the cutest little scissors that a friend of mine gave me at a crafting event aren't these the cutest little things so fun i do love my snips though so so then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do a tag that i usually like to do i go ahead and i bring the two ends together I'm gonna bring this in. And then loop it just like so. And I have this beautiful fun tag to put on a gift for the holidays. Isn't that fun? Let's see how quick we can put our other two together because I wanna show you another kit. Oh, that was just fabulous tags. I mean, these are fun and, and flirty little tags, right? They're actually big tags, but they're kind of just fun and flirty and, and all that. But this other tag kit I wanna share, I used and I made the most beautiful cards with them. All right, let's do Santa. Look how quick Santa's gonna be. I just need to do my with love or love Santa. Let's take off our leaf and our two from, and I'm getting my fingers all. So I have my love Santa stamp, and I love this reverse stamping where the writing stays white. 
I just think that's beautiful. You do need to work just a little bit harder with it. Like I said, sliding it on the stamp pad's great and then tapping it because when you slide it, you get kind of striping going on. So then you just pop it around. Now it looks like I have quite a bit of ink on here and I might've gotten down into the love Santa part. Ooh, and this is like the same size. So I'm just gonna trust and stamp. <laughs> That's all you can do is just trust and stamp it down. It's gonna let you know. And then, you know, it's awesome. Just turn the paper over. Oh yeah, don't like. Let's try that again. I'm gonna just tap it, do a slight sliding and tap. I'm gonna actually stamp this off a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna come back in. What's nice about photopolymers, you can see through it. All right, and I'm gonna kind of lean up over so I can get this in the circle kind of centered, I hope. <laughs> oh, I am definitely not centered. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now I could take my scissor and if I wanted to go around this cute little scissors, what always happens though when I try to do something like this, it usually does not work for me. I'm left-handed and things can go awry very easily because my blades are opposite that worked out okay. Now I have to kind of take the rest off over here. Okay, a little wonky. Just a little wonky, so let's not do any more. Just gonna make it worse. All right, so I'm gonna use a little liquid glue on this. Again, remember I said you only need a little bit. I have my Christmas music playing. I don't know if you can hear it. I just love it. I know you're going to say it's too early for Christmas music, but it's not. Not really. So now my love Santa's just going to get here with the dimensionals. And I'm going to put the dimensionals here on Santa. Just a couple of them. Because this whole thing is not going to be on Santa and I don't want to put a dimensional where it's not going to be. Like if I put it right here on the edge, it would just be sticking out there. Let's pop that out. Look at how cute he is. And that's it. How quick and easy is that? Let's get our 12 inch of Baker's Twine again. I'll do that same looping that I like to do. I put my ends together. Then you go ahead and you put the two ends through. You have your loop and the loose ends will go right through the loop and it's now secure. And then you can tie that onto a gift. Look at how great. One more or two more? Two more, right? We have the tree. And this time I'm gonna stamp Mary. It's a great stamp set. Oh, nice bold M-E-R-R-Y for Merry Christmas. We'll run this along. <coughs> Excuse me. That looks beautiful. Is that really gonna fit on here? Oh my, no, it goes on the orange or the yellow. I didn't think that was going to fit. My goodness. Look how beautiful that stamped. That is gorgeous. It's merry and bright. We are going to end up using every single stamp it seems. Merry and bright, and the and bright goes on the white strip. Ooh, 
merry and bright. That is the best stamping of them all so far. Now this is really great. Mary is going to go down right here with glue. So you can do so much with just layering because then I'm going to go ahead and put down my strip of the poppy parade color. And this is going to kind of come around over here and kind of come across, offset. How fun is that? And then the and bright is going to go up on dimensionals. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut a dimensional in half because these are too wide. Oh, and I had mini dimensionals sitting right there, but I'm keeping with the kit that came with standard size. So I can just cut two in half. Put them on either end. And now my and bright is going to come and flank that red. Oh my gosh, look how cute. That is so great. The other thing I can do, I can grab my wink of Stella and I can glimmer up the ornaments and the star, so it gives it a little bit more shimmer and shine. There we go. And now I need just another. Can you see how fast these tags are going together? What a perfect kit. Now again, this is an older kit but there are kits available right now. Oh my gosh, there's a wonderful kit and it has these metal rings and actual um, like pine cone embellishments to create the most beautiful little ornaments. And just think about what a nice homemade gift that could be for someone. And there we go, my little glimmering Merry Christmas tag. So there is three. And now we need our wonderful little bug <laughs> with the stacked presents. I think this one might be my favorite. And that stacked present needs, it needs our little polka dot strip. And it also needs another of the long strips. There we go. And on this one, we're going to stamp special delivery. Of course, it's going to be special delivery. That makes total sense, right? Special delivery. So this kit had three, six, nine, it had 12 tags. Special delivery. This is quick, quicker than anything right now. I'm just going to do a little strip of glue because this is going to overhang a little bit, I think. All right, so this is going to come right here and hang over just a little bit. And then my special delivery, I'm going to go ahead and use dimensional, so I'll cut one in half again. You can also, when you get to the end of your dimensionals here, you have this edge and when you just slice right along, the, you'll get half, half dimensionals. Use them all up. You always get more than you need too. That's another thing. You'll have more little strips than you need for sentiments, just in case you make uh, an error 
or you don't stamp real clean, you always get extras because stamping up knows. Crafters are sometimes perfectionists and we want it to be perfect. Well, there we go. Okay, why is it not going through? Thank you very much. I think this baker's twine is so fun. All right, so there you have this fabulous Love Santa tag kit. 12 tags, so much fun. But just think about now creating a card with this, how quick and easy your card would go together. I want to share with you how easy that can be. Let me just get my scraps aside here. Now, I have a piece of Poppy Parade. It's the color that's in the kit. So I have a standard card base at um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then I went ahead and I took the retired Christmas tidings embossing folder. Such a cute folder. And I went ahead and I embossed it going the other way so I could have it going horizontally. But I need to make sure that I have it at five at four by five and a quarter. Because my card is going vertically, I needed to, I think I said horizontally early, sorry. Um, I wanted to make sure that the folder went up and down this way. And I, I know that some things are sideways and that's just a collage and it, it's fine. But let me show you when you go through this way, this looks like it should be because most of the things are going um, horizontally. But I wanted to have things to all be going vertically. And so this is a layer that's just going right on top. I love to do that to give more texture on a card front and I always add an extra piece to do my embossing on because I just don't like to open the card and see the embossing on the inside. It also, um, when you emboss, it weakens the card, the card stock. And so I feel that doing this just gives it a nice little border. You could also do a little bit of sponging along the edges to make it um, stand out a little more. So there's that. Let's go ahead and see which character we're going to do. I think I would love to do this Christmas tree. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tag, the little hole for the tag. I want this just to be the Christmas tree, just like so. I mean, how fun is that? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of this tree. And one more. I know that seems like a lot, but I don't want any of my tree to sag down in. So I say use up the dimensionals. I love these dimensionals because they have just a great shape, but also, so there's our beautiful tree. How fun is that? So now with our other pieces, I'm going to go ahead and pull the yellow, but I definitely think I want to have the yellow strip like so. And then I have two full sheets of these, which is great. And I'm going to do the merry and bright again because I really, really liked how dark the merry turned out so well. So let me bring that back in. There we go. 
many my knight of navy spot these colors coordinate so well together and you can always look in your instructions and it will tell you the coordinating colors so if you decide that you're going to do some other projects with some of the extra materials you'll know what colors to pull in and that's something that Stampin Up is really known for they're known for their color coordination everything coordinates from embellishments to cardstock to ink pads and I I find that that coordination just makes everything look richer and nicer. Merry and bright, there we are. So I like to see about where that's gonna look really good. It is gonna overhang, so I will put a dimensional on this end. And here, I set them right here. So, if I have it go over the edge about right here, see how that Y is going to be overhanging? And since the tree is raised up, I want to make sure that's raised up as well. Then I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the other part because that's going to be glued onto the tree. There we go, Mary. And Bright's gonna go right about there and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my half dimensionals. Put one there. And one here. Okay, so then we'll have our Marion Bright. So Marion Bright, just like that. How cute is this? Just look at that. Now I'm going to pull in my embellishments here. I know this isn't part of the kit and that's okay when you're doing alternate projects after you've done some of your tags. You can see what kind of embellishments you might want to pull in. And so I already see something I'd like to do here. So I'm going to pull in some of these small ones that are the Knight of Navy and I'm going to put them right on the Knight of Navy dots because that's that's fun right oh I just pulled my glue dot off these are adhesive backed gems so they already have the adhesive on them and I really should pull my little scissors in here to help me I'm keeping with just these these littler ones because they seem to fit on here perfectly All right, one more. And one more. There we go. So you can kind of see I'm getting that dimension on there. The next one I'm going to go ahead and do. Now this isn't um, Poppy Parade, but you don't really know that. It's amazing how much it matches. But maybe it is Poppy Parade. Actually, these are ombre um, embellishments. You can see I have a little bit lighter ones here. And then as I keep going back, they get darker. Fun. That is fun. So then let's go ahead and see what else I have here. I have these fun pink ones here. We'll start getting some different, different kind of textures. These are 
kind of see-through. They're more glitzy. The other ones were a matte, a matte finish. This is so fun. I just could keep going on with this forever. Huh. Not that you would. Or have fun watching me put these on. Yeah, you can always fast forward, right? Oopsies. Oh, I'm just making a mess now. And one more right here. Now let's go back because we have these yellows and those would look really cute on the, with the yellows. Well, I just sent that one skyrocketing. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is with all of those blingies. Oh, that is so great. It looks like I need one more of my pinks. These are the tinsel gems. Three pack tinsels. There, it's interesting. There's a three pack of tinsels and there's a four pack of tinsels. It means there's four. Let's get this. There we go. So there we have it. What a beautiful card. And then I can go ahead and add a white the inside of the card and stamp uh, season's greeting or something like that for the card. So how about that fabulous kit? And I have to tell you, you need to go to stampinup.com and check out all of their kits. So here is my special delivery, my Merry and Bright, Love Santa, and Joy. Fabulous, fabulous kit. And then I created a card too. Just absolutely love that card. And all of the work was already done for me. I just did a little bit of adding cardstock and another layer. So let's go ahead and put this away. I want to share just another kit with you and what I had done with it. Oh, doesn't go in there. <laughs> Goes in this one. The kit box, not the paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin is a subscription. Put the dimensionals that are left. We'll make sure put our labels, pieces. There's so many. I love that, that they give you extras for making mistakes because we all do. And that goes in there and our Knight of Navy. And we'll just set that aside. All right. So I want to show you this beautiful box. This was a tags kit um, a couple years ago. The box is fabulous because then you can use it to put a gift in for somebody. But this was the project kit. This was the tags buffet. Look at how fabulous. 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 15, 18, 18 beautiful tags. with your full instructions on how to create your tags. What I had done with this is I created a card class with the tag kit. So my participants got to create these beautiful tags. Look at how gorgeous these tags were. All of this work was done for you. You simply had to glue, do one stamp, add your beautiful trim, and you've got fabulous tags. Here's another with the beautiful stocking. Then your Merry Christmas with the ornament. Okay. And then what I wanted to share is the card class that we did. So here's a card example. This was using a cardinal 
that was part of a tag and here's the tag underneath it and there's the love for you here's another one this one says tis the season this was part of a tag doing a bunch of layering and this beautiful card Merry Christmas here's another with this one we used one of the tag pieces cut it apart then layered more of the tag pieces and had the presents with Merry Christmas and Jingle Bells. How fun is that? And then with the class, you got to then create all of your additional tags. And like I said, is we took some, but here again are some of the beautiful tags to see. And then with these tags, you would take this other one and layer it on top. And see how beautiful that becomes. So from that, I could have taken any of my pieces. And I happen to have a tree popped out right here. The tree would then go on. And then you would add your sentiment and you'd have something beautiful like this. So... The amount of supplies that you got for these beautiful tags was amazing. Here are the couple of other pop-outs. Just the coloring is beautiful. The gold foil was beautiful. And I loved being able to create and offer a card class. So participants made several, several cards and then the rest of their class, they made up additional tags so they had cards and tags to give as gifts. So much fun. So let me just really quick show you a current kit that you will want to definitely get. This is fabulous. You can tie these beautiful ornaments onto gifts. You can put them on the tree, but it is the Christmas ornaments kit. Now you can see that there are different sizes. See, there are large ornaments and small ornaments. Let's take a look. In this kit, you are getting all of these beautiful little pine cone embellishments, the holly berries, and the gold berries. And you get a whole bag full of those. You get this beautiful gold twine, a package of dimensionals, and now here are your metal rings, and these are metal. You can hear that. You have the small, three small, two, four, six large. You've got your ribbon bows already tied for you. Yes, please. Um, you get your mini glue dots and then you have all of the beautiful, beautiful pieces to pop out to go attach to your ornaments. Here are the circles and banner pieces, more circles. We get these leaves and circles. Okay, and what's happening with these circles is they're going to go in the center of your rings so that you can then add all of your beautiful accent and embellishments. And this is a kit that's currently available right now. And again, it has a beautiful brochure. You can see all of those round circle pieces. Your twine gets tied and it's gonna go through the whole thing. And then your beautiful greenery and the pine cones and the berries get attached. And you get step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. What to pull out for each of the projects they do a beautiful job laying those things out for you. And you can see here, then it shows you how to assemble. This is a fabulous kit. You do not want to miss out on this one. I, um, I can't wait to make these and put them on the gifts um, that I have under the tree. My daughters are grown and it's fabulous to give them this and then they can put it on their own tree in their own apartment or their own home. 
So my goodness, that was a lot of sharing. I hope you enjoyed my sharing today of Stampin' Up's kits as well as their paper pumpkin monthly subscription. You can check out my links below. Um, I have information on kits as well as paper pumpkin. And um, I thank you for joining me today. If you haven't, check out the hashtag Satmorn Makes with Jillian, one of my favorite, favorite paper crafters. And two crafters, one design with Mo Creations. Um, and she has a couple of more friends that she'll have linked um, that also do that theme with her. And this week it was tags. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. And until next time, happy stamping.